Alrighty guys, today we are going to look at the new ability slash perk, the rocking riff. Alrighty, so the main hero I'm going to use to showcase this ability is Breakbeat Wildcat. You can earn her from the Red Llamas, which you can purchase with your Hit the Road tickets. Uh, her, uh, her, new, her hero ability is that uh, with every 4 eliminations within 9 seconds, we'll grant you Rocking Reef perk. So the team perk I'm going to use this for this showcase is uh, Torrid Rocking Out, which increases the critical rating by 160 when rocking riff is activated uh, to earn this you have to complete the the long road home side quest and while after you unlock the dennis jr mythic skin you will get this team perk with it to to work this team perk to to activate this team perk sorry uh, you need to have two totally red uh, heroes so for this i'm using fumble which is uh, hero his name is hero and queen uh, sub wafers fumble every you have a seven percent chance after elimination to like get a football uh, american football sort of thing uh, when you tra even you step on it uh, you get the rocket refactivated and sub wafers when you harvest metal there's a 32 percent chance that you get like a edible wafer sort of thing uh, which will grant you rocket rig for eight seconds uh, to increase the damage, I'm going to use Sorry Might, which will add 3%. It's not the same as using for the main hero, but still, you're going to add 3% every one second as damage. And since I'm going to use uh, a Siege Breaker as a test weapon here, I'm going to use Assault Crit Damage, which will, which will increase my crit damage by 75%. And I'm going to use First Shot Rio. So with every reload, I have a hundred percent critical chance of getting critical damage. So with the rocking reef activated, this will help out a lot because with that I'm gonna get 160, uh, sorry, 50 percent more damage over the 75 percent damage for the assault. Uh, so yeah, this will do for the next two shots. For the first two shots after reloading, this will do very good damage. Alrighty, so the weapon I'm gonna use to showcase this is my 130 Siege Breaker, which I have perked it up as double crit rating, uh, reload speed, energy, and damage to missed monsters and bosses. So for this, we'll go for a 100 zone and test it out. Yeah, here. Alright guys, so we are in a power level 100 zone and we are gonna farm some metal so I can get that uh, rock and riff wafers and we are gonna have to find a smasher to test this out also I will come and clean that in camera later ok, we have, there's a must smasher there ok, I am gonna put the slow field here right now and I am gonna eat any wave for and let's test it out. Oops, sorry. Hey. So, yes, it does pretty decent damage with the buff phone. It does critical damage with the buff phone. Like you said there. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this now. I'm gonna put my hover in here. Okay. So for each elimination it's gonna you know, increase the buff. You can see all the yellow markers there. That means it is doing some critical damage. So I'm gonna do some real good critical damage with that. Okay. And his history. Also repair here, okay. We have a fumble. 
As you can see, we can clear them out fairly quickly with this team buff working. That is the advantage of this weapon, like uh, it's not just the ranged weapons, it also activates for your hovering turret, for your minigun, for your uh, shockwave, everything. So that is the main advantage of this buff. If you're gonna use it, you're gonna be able to do very good critical damage provided that you have a suitable gun. The siege breaker is not the best for this. I'd say something like the candy cone which has a faster firing rate will do more critical hits than this, the siege breaker. Uh, yes, overall it's a very 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 good team buff. It's I think second for me personally second to the blast from the past team perk uh, so yeah that's about it thanks thank you for watching